Welcome folks, this is another edition of Tiffin Cast, and today I am speaking with Hamish Symington. Is that, did I say your last name correctly? I, it, it's is Symington, it, but I'm not going to Is it Symington? You. Okay. I, you see, <laughs> the, the, that's the thing with folks on the uh, the left of the pond, I guess. Um, we, we, oh, yeah. we bungle the English language quite a bit. Don't worry, everyone in England does the same thing, so it's fine. Symington it is. Uh, Hamish, thank you so much for joining me. Hamish is the co-founder or the founder of Light Blue Software and is based in the UK, as you can tell from his accent. Uh, and I've had the pleasure of meeting uh, Hamish at a, a, a trade show several years ago, and it's great to reconnect with him here. Hamish, thanks for joining us. That's right, no problem. Good to see you. Hamish, I wanted to ask you, um, now I've used Light Blue now for the last 30 days or so uh, through the trial, and I've really been blown away by how intuitive and simple it is to use. And Good to him. One of the things that struck me uh, when, when you'd extended an invitation to chat was, uh, I wanted to know from you, from a, from a developer's perspective, why is it important to have an application like Lightblue to run a business? What is it that it does for a photographer, essentially? Okay, so... Lightblue looks after the admin side of running a photography business. So you've got your contact information, uh, diary, list of shoots. Um, it'll handle your invoicing and expenditure as well. So you can keep track of the money that's uh, coming out, you know, coming into your business, but also the money that's going out of it. Now, first of all, it's really important to do that because if you don't invoice somebody, you don't get paid. And if you don't get paid, you don't eat. So that's very important. Um, if you don't have a diary, you don't know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, you don't get paid. So you don't eat and so on. Um, the same with contact information. You need to know who you're doing your jobs for. To do with things like uh, your income and expenditure, recording your expenditure, you need to do that because you have to know how much tax you have to pay because that's what you have to do. And if you don't do that, you get thrown in prison or get fined or something like that. So that's, you need to look after all of the stuff to do with a photography business. So that is something which you just have to do when you run a business. Now, there are all sorts of different options for um, ways of doing that. You could just use pen and paper. And lots of the people who have uh, who've come over to Light Blue were using pen and paper or Excel spreadsheets um, before they used us. You can do it like that, but when you lose your diary or you forget which set, uh, cell in the spreadsheet it went in or the post-it note, your wife's stuck it to the dog and it's gone. <laughs> you just need to organize everything so carefully and it's so easy to lose something. The advantage of something like Light Blue is that everything's in one place and that means that first of all you know exactly where to go to find it but also it's all linked together and that means that you can do really cool reports really quickly without faffing about with things like pivot tables in Excel. Um, I don't know how to use a pivot table but I know that I go to the reports menu in Light Blue and it's got loads of useful stuff in there and it just does it and it works and it's brilliant. So, I, I have not, I don't even know what a pivot table is to be honest with you. Exactly. Um, it's a really helpful thing showing you categories of expenditure down the side and dates across the top or something like that. Okay. And it, it's smoke and mirrors, basically. It, it um, sounds messy, so... Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah. And we like to make things really simple because we know that photographers would much prefer to be out and about shooting rather yes. than doing their admin. When it came down to designing or redesigning your uh, software, because the the, the time when I first approached you guys at the booth, um, it was uh, probably the first a couple, first year or two that you'd just come out with it. That's um, and I, I, when I re-approached your, your, I mean, when I when I signed up uh, for the trial and I saw the interface, I was like, "This is nothing like I remembered it being," you know, before. That's correct. So, what what guided you to make those changes, really? Okay, so we started out by building Lightblue in a program called FileMaker, and that's database software. It's really easy to develop in because if you want, for example, a date field, you just drag a date field, put it on the layout where you want it, and it just works. It handles everything behind the scenes, like the little pop-up calendar and, and validating the fact that it's a real date and all the database saving and stuff. Very, very easy for us to develop in. And it meant that we could do a lot of stuff really, really quickly. Um, the, the original program for light blue was designed by my business partner tom he's a he's a working wedding photographer and also a techie and he designed it to run his own business and enough people saw it and said you should sell this that eventually he thought we should sell this so um that's that's why we formed the company um over the three years that we um had uh, had the filemaker version three years four years four years that we had the filemaker version 
um, we learned a lot and we knew exactly what we wanted to do. And we'd kind of outgrown FileMaker. We couldn't, there, there was a lot of stuff that we wanted to do, which we couldn't do because of restrictions with it. It's very simple to develop in, but it gives you a lot of restrictions in, in, into what you're allowed to do. So it was about two and a half years ago now, we threw everything away that we'd ever done and started again from scratch. And we designed the software that we would have designed had we known what we knew or what we'd learned over those few years. Everything was rethought. There is not a single line of code in, from, the, um, from the previous software. So we were looking at why we do stuff, um, uh, why we've put things in particular places, how the layout works, um, how, you, how you switch between layouts. Every single thing we thought about with the overriding feeling that it had to be incredibly simple to use. And so that was, that was where all of that came from. Um, and it's, the response we've had to it has been fantastic. Um, we've had lots of people who say they didn't like the previous one because it was sort of databasey, if you like. It, it looked and felt like a database, right. whereas the new one looks and feels much more like a real application which you're used to, mm -hmm. so, and that makes it um, significantly faster. We've also been quite a lot cleverer with um, what we show to people. So, for example, on the, old, on the old version, we had lots of date fields all cluttering up the shoot screen. In this new one, we don't show you quite a lot of those date fields because they're all hidden behind the scenes. We don't show you the, um, the field for entering a, a reason that the shoot was cancelled. If the shoot isn't cancelled, you don't need to see it. It's, it's irrelevant. So we hide that. We've been quite clever with, with that side of things. Mm -hmm. um, and because we've decluttered it, it makes it an awful lot easier to use. Easier to use means, um, well, less time spent on admin, more time out shooting, which is what people want to go and do and what makes money. Most definitely. Um, now, I know you have probably also for the first time uh, an iPad app uh, an iPhone app uh, that is that makes it very easy for a photographer in the field to check data. Well, you know, that's assuming there's a 3G connection or whatever, to be able to. Uh, that, that's where Light Blue comes into its own. How's so, that? So you've got two different. Uh, there are two different options basically, or um, when when making or when looking for software like this. You've got the web-based option, mm -hmm. and that's where you access it through Safari or Internet Explorer or whatever it is. That's great because you can access it on lots of different computers, but you need to be connected. Right. And if you're not connected, you can't get to your data. Right. That's not good enough, really. Yeah. The other alternative is desktop software, uh, and that's where it runs on your computer. So if you can turn your computer on, you can get access to your software. Mm -hmm. However, it's very difficult, usually, to share information between computers. What we've done is we've kind of combined the two. We've made desktop software, so you don't need to be online. Um, you can work on your data. And then when you go online, it syncs your data to our cloud. So you can have it on several different computers, work offline on all of them. So if your network connection goes down for the day, you can still get access to all of your data. Then when you go back online, it'll sync um, between all of your computers. And the same applies to the iPad and iPhone. So when you've got a network connection, you sync, you pull all the data down, you can then go out of range and you can keep working away on your data and when you get back in range, that's when you sync back to the office. So we've got the best of both worlds. Oh, that's pretty brilliant. I thought you had to be always connected to use the, the oh. iPad and iPhone versions. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, and, and that is where it shines compared to pretty much anything else that's out there. Oh, that's brilliant. That is really, really, I mean, that's, that blows my mind. Because um, I won't mention the name of the company that I was using before, but I, you know, I bought into it, and it was only online. They had this sort of potential iPhone application, but I'd never really quite heard it was very stable, et cetera. Um, so anyway, uh, it's nice to see that there is a, a true alternative for photographers uh, in light blue and that they are able to use it to essentially uh, find a way to, to, to analyze their business and, and keep track of who their clients are, what their clients are doing, you know, anniversaries, birthdays, all of that stuff can it be makes it very easy to treat people personally because yes. people love it when you treat them personally because it makes them feel special. Right. And, and you can zip into light blue, have a look at, um, if you're doing kids photography, you can look up all their birthdays, find the birthdays next month, send them a birthday card. Why don't you bring your child in for yes. um, for that? Same with wedding anniversaries. It's, it's your third anniversary. Would you like to come in for an anniversary shoot? I'll give you 10% yeah. off. Right, and and you can and you can track all of that um, because it's it's so much easier to make a sale to somebody who you've already sold to. That's right. One of the things, and you you mentioned marketing in a way that I think really 
tickled me when I first tried your program out uh, because I was looking for, of course, you're collecting email addresses. And I was thinking, so how the heck am I going to get all these email addresses out and be able to use it in a way, uh, you know, whether it's MailChimp or a Mad Mimi or whatever it is. And I saw an export button. I just hit export and it exports out all the email addresses in the system. Yep, you can get pretty much any information out of LightBlue straight into a spreadsheet. It's dead easy to do. Um, it's a nice graphical interface, so you pick which fields you want to get out, and you get one line per um, uh, per record that you're exporting. Um, so like I said, it goes to a spreadsheet, so you can import that into MailChimp or whatever it is that you want to use. Um, there's also for contacts, there's a mailing list checkbox. So you That's can right. um, mark whether people are on your mailing list or not, so you know whether you're allowed to uh, to send things to them. Excellent, excellent. Um, are you open to talking a little bit about where things are going to go uh, for light light blue? Things that are comfortable talking about. Yeah. I, I can I can only say no if you ask me a question I'm not allowed to answer. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my lawyer sitting next to me. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> um, I, I I I mean to be honest with you, I I like the the interface, but I feel like there are icons that could be prettier, perhaps. You know, uh, uh, the, are, are you guys? open to suggestions from photographers who are using your program to make those changes. Yeah, of course. Um, we, if, if we can make better software, then more people will buy it. And if more people buy it, then our business becomes more successful. So we are very open to, uh, to listening to what people have to say. And since we launched this new version in January, I think we've made about 900 enhancements to it. So we don't, we don't oh, wow. stand still. We do continually develop it. We, we haven't just sort of put it out there and sat on it until, uh, until now. So we're constantly listening to what people say, finding out, uh, including what, uh, seeing what questions come up most frequently in support uh, when, we have, when we get our support questions via email. And if we get a lot of people asking the same question, we've obviously done something wrong, so we need to fix it. Um, so yeah, if, if people do ask us things, then um, we're always open to suggestions. Sometimes we say no, because um, it's, we like to keep things very simple and make sure that, we, um, uh, that we're developing it as, as we want to. But sometimes people come up with a blinding idea. And, and we say, of course, that's really simple. Why didn't we do that before? We'll get that in the next version. Sure. Uh, I, you know, you mentioned support, and I got to tell you, that's another thing I was very impressed by. Uh, when I when I when I had an issue with my syncing problem, which is my issue really, because I had changed the password, uh, I sent an email out to you, and you were you were very quick at responding. And yeah, we, it, tr we try to reply within an hour during UK office hours. That's fantastic. Uh, so obviously, um, that's not quite so great for um, you guys over there because we're quite often asleep when you're awake, but. Um, we generally get through all our support emails within an hour um, the next morning that we're that we're awake. So um, you'll never be waiting longer than, well, however long it is. You're asleep plus an hour. And often we're also on Twitter um, during the day. So right. if you can explain your question in 140 characters and we can answer it in 140 characters, then we'll reply in a few minutes. That's fantastic. That's great. Good, uh, good support is vital to us because we know that people rely on our software and they need to know that there's somebody behind it who is actually there to answer questions. We're, we're, we're real people here. We're not a faceless corporation or anything like that. And, most definitely. And you'll get a reply from a developer. Most definitely. Most definitely. Thank you so much again for joining us and sure. to tell us a little bit about why this software is important for photographers. Um, I think it, I'm, I'm excited to be using it. I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, certainly, uh, you know, the, you know, the fact that you've got 900 different changes that you've made recently tells me that, you know, you're, you're serious about this thing. You know, it's not Most something definitely. that you've just sort of put together, but you've put a lot of thought together <laughs> in putting yep. this, uh, application out. And, um, I gotta say thank you, man. You know, really. You're more than welcome. I, I should let your users know that, uh, or your viewers know that there's a, a free 30-day trial online, which they can try. It's fully functioning. The only difference between the trial and the and the full version is it expires after 30 days, and when you register it, um, you get to keep all of your data. So it's not like you lose anything. Um, it's so simple. All the pricing's on our website, which is lightbluesoftware.com. And if you've got any questions, just drop us a note, and all the contact details are on there. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, and uh, cheers as you see it in uh, England. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, bud.